Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Couch Gamer. Welcome back to another video. <clears throat> In this video, I would like to tell you guys the impact that Kerbal Space Program had on me. Now, I constantly on this channel will not shut up about Oblivion. It's my favorite game ever. Um, but within the top five list, I think my third favorite, my second favorite game ever is Halo. My third favorite game ever is Kerbal Space Program. It's a very important game to me that <clears throat> I don't talk about nowadays because it's what my channel is based on in the first place. If you want to go ahead and look at the oldest videos on my channel, I would say roughly 50% of them is Kerbal Space Program. This game for me really showed me how a YouTube community works. You know, I found YouTube in 2010. Um... And I found the gaming portion in 2011. And then I found, uh, actually in 2012 or 11, I found the channel Markiplier back in like the old days of YouTube. Like when most of the gamers, when gaming as a whole was popular, but there was no real big gamers. I think a lot of the main channels were under a million subscribers back then that you would expect to be gaming channels today. And when I found Kerbal Space Program, it it showed me this side of space that I never knew. I mean, I have an appreciation for astronomy and space that I think Kerbal Space Program created. You know, I've always kind of liked chemistry, I've liked biology, but when it comes to astronomy and chemistry and biology in space, it's unparalleled, the impact that Kerbal Space Program had on me. I mean, I went through, there was a time where I would always look at planets through telescopes. Right, I have this telescope, it's an okayish telescope. And I would look at the planets through the telescope and I would almost like watch every night, like Jupiter, right? There's a time where I could, you could see all four of the main moons of Jupiter and just watch them every night doing their orbits, doing their thing. And I'm like, whoa, you know, is, is this appreciation of space that just the game created for me. And not only that, but creativity too. I mean, Kerbal Space Program is one of the most open world games in the entire industry, right? I mean, how many times have you just turned on the game, those of you that play the game a lot, and just been like, I want to do this, and then you go do it. Right, you turn on sandbox and you do it. Or you want to do something crazy, put it on career mode, and then do career mode like that, right? That's how I kind of look at the Kerbal Space Program. Is It's like a game where I can just go and do my thing, even today, okay? Let me tell you guys, I've had the game for six years, I think, or something crazy like that. I can still turn on the game and decide to attempt to do things that I've never ever done in a game before. Last time I played the game, I built a whole system around the moon, like a refueling station that you could send a mining ship down and bring it back up and store some fuel and up and down and up and down. And you would end up with more fuel than when you started every time. Like that is something that I just decided to do. So it was cool. So Kerbal Space Program really, an appreciation for science, an appreciation for space. And it showed me a YouTube community. Like before, you know, I thought YouTube was all about the channel, right? You would go on to the Markiplier channel, or the Some Ordinary Gamers channel, or the PewDiePie channel, or something like that. Or the Phase Jeff channel. And Kerbal Space Program showed me there was like a community of people that really... It was an uncompetitive community. No one hated each other. Because there's so much you could do. I mean, like... I never really got into the community, but I saw the community, right? There's the people that would live stream it, the people that take it serious, the people that do crazy inventions, the people that would build hovercrafts, the people that would do stuff on other planets, the people that would tell stories, all using this game. And it was cool to watch all of them. The news channel, like, all these genres inside of Kerbal Space Program. It was just, it showed me a way to do YouTube that created a community of people and 
really made YouTube special. Like, Kerbal Space Program to me made YouTube special. One of the things that made YouTube special. And it's what the game I started my YouTube channel with. I don't, I mean, I would have started a YouTube channel, yeah, but Kerbal Space Program eased me into making a YouTube channel because it was so just do your thing. There's no judgment. None of this, like, pro strat thing. You know, so. That's what it did, Mary. And if it goes away and dies, I might still play it occasionally, but I'll miss the community. Well, that's it, guys. If you enjoyed it, you can tell me in the comments below. What are your favorite memories of Kerbal Space Program? I'm going to share those in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode of Stream Blog, Steam It Post, of whatever I decide to make.